Hello there guys, Below 10,000 here, bringing you another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, and today we're starting Chapter 3. Sniff. Sniff, sniff. And it's Aoi. She's very upset. I know I shouldn't cry, but I've had enough. Aww. I can't take it anymore. Aoi, don't cry. Getting out of here anytime soon? Aoi. It's impossible. Aww. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide Don't to... you dare. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Oh, what a lovely room. Bit of a mess. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream-filled donut holes, malasadas. Okay. Oh, God of Donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? huh? Oh, spooky noise. Huh? Ooh, what's that sound? Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from... At the bathhouse. Oh. But... I'm super scared, but... Is... Is someone there? <gasps> oh god, it's like a little Chihiro. Oh, what? Chapter 3. A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero, daily life. What a name. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial, everyone met up in the dining hall just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today's count kinda sucks, huh? Toko and Byaki has still refused to show up. Um... And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That is rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? There's times like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. And yeah, if you can look at his sprite, he's um he's traumatized by the fact that his bro who they might actually there's a theory going around that they might have been in a relationship. Uh, because he died, obviously he's a bit upset, you know. Impossible. Or not. Taka hasn't said a word. One look at his face showed he hasn't slept a wink. It must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. So, I mean, oh, f uh, we haven't found a way out, and, uh, well, there's a third floor that's probably opened it's up. Like... <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well... Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, and our every need is seen to. Why are you so dissatisfied? <sighs> in fact... Let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case is our current situation not... <laughs> I'm gonna ignore him. Huh? huh? Here we go. I see. He's like, oh my god, I love my anime. Ernamur. <laughs> There's no TD. Okay. There is nothing to be done. The mastermind put such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since talk is like catatonic. Hmm. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. Someone kill me. So we're gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right. Well, I mean, right? uh, well, you know, okay. Perhaps. That's the first time I think Hero's ever said hmm. anything useful. Brilliant. Well. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> there may well be a discovery waiting for us which may further enrich our life here. Um... Yeah? 
she barged in. You called for me, and so I appear. Oh, why are you here? What? Nobody called for you. Uh, um... What the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes! God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I can just be my murderous self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer of a split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. You I'll fight all day, night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um... But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> uh-huh, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. Okay. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer. And after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Well, let's head to the third floor then. That's going to be our direction. So, uh, let me just go into F1, map, see if we can teleport our way there. That would be very helpful. Uh, okay, we can go there. Second floor. There it is. This is the first floor. Second floor. Uh, where are the stairs for... F ah, I see. There we go. School zone. Third floor. Here we go. Do, do, do. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're going to find this time. What's up here? Well, that's a rec room. Uh, that's the pathway down. Let's take a look at the map. Yep, we've got a rec room here, some uh, classrooms. It's like a kind of a little bit of a snaky sort of corridor. Right, let's go to the rec room. Ah. Ah, Celeste, hello. Hmm, so this is let's a see. recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school. It has Othello, Shogi, and even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They even have provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball sides, all kinds of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school, after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then. And you will be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to right now, right now, the magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Oops! Nothing, never mind, no, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expoundation. Bye bye! What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be very much nicer if we could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? <laughs> well, uh, that's the rec room. We don't really need to look at anything, we just need to find all the different people. So let's head down this way. No need. Oh, Kyoko! It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. <sighs> I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Interesting. An art room? I was an art student for like two minutes. Let's go! Oh, oh wow. Not even censored. Okay. Oh, why are you in here? Uh... Uh, yep, yeah, uh, artistic itch, art supplies. I don't want to. I really don't want to talk with you, Hafumi. What's in here? It's like a store- yeah, it's like a store- like a DT room. What's that? What's that? That's Mondo, Leon, and Chihiro. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up- Almost as if on my own, on its own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo, and they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after the other. Why is it only these three people? 
What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom. There's no metal plate covering it. What? Oh, what the heck? How come they didn't mention that they knew each other? That's mine! Give it back! Oh, well, okay. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that They were wonderful? definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing! Mm-hmm. That was an interesting picture. That definitely brings a lot of questions. Okay, uh, Hifumi, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I have to talk to him, don't I? Oh, crap, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, oh, I have to talk with him. All right, Hifumi, I guess I do have to listen to you. I'm just going to skip your dialogue, but uh, if I have to listen to you, I guess I have to. Uh, do you like sculptures? Yes, indeed. Uh, Lormany, yeah, okay, figurines, he's like, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh huh. You know nothing. Yes, indeed. Okay, <laughs> for me, I'm just gonna leave you. I did have to talk to him. Oh, that is tragic. The game forced me to talk with the worst character in the game. I just don't know. Oh, that's to the fourth floor. This must lead down to the physics lab. The, yep, physics lab that Kyoko was on about. Let's see what this giant machine they were talking about is. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell is this? And why is this in a school? So that's like a classroom or more like some research institute. Yeah. Uh, hey, Taka. Uh, no reaction. What is that? What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Ah! Watch out! What? What, you wanna do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine! Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. A, a time machine? Seriously? It, so it can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! <laughs> oh sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. Aww. I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. But that, no, but it's an air purifier. But yeah, it produces clean air. Yeah, whatever. Uh, just more gravity, low temperatures. What he said, he said that there was a tragedy. And he said that an ultimate physicist died in a tragedy, or the tragedy, and it was like capitalized. So that's an important event, apparently. To go out your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. But yeah, Monokuma's a bit of a bitch, you know. But uh, we have to expect it, it's Monokuma. See what's in here? Hello! It's a nice little storeroom. Oh great, the murderer's here. Disorganized, just like Genocide Jill. Uh -huh. This place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. I'm it's so tempting. Uh -huh. I just want to dunk myself right in it. Of course, Genocide Jill likes it. It's Jill, not Jack. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Uh -huh. Okay, yep, yep, okay. Uh, is there anything here we need to look at? I don't know. Oh, there is one thing I need to look at. I need to... I need to go to Aoi. Because if I remember... Oh. What's that? Is that a camera? That's a camera. Let's click it. Let's see what it is. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it turns on. Yep. I guess we're showing that one to Hifumi. Getting more confused. Let's, yeah, let's go to the dining hall, because maybe Hina will be, like, out now, and she'll be like, I'm scared, because I saw a ghost. Oh, it's just Hina. Okay. Uh, 
Hina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Uh, huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... My stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know... <laughs> uh, I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. Uh, okay. Miss mm. Asin- Hey! Just a second! Well, anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Sorry. Besides that, you... Huh? huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck did you convince them? To double up a milk production? Bastard! Whoa! Uh, um, first things first, should we talk about what we found? Right, Taka? Hmm. Right. Uh, let's go Kyoko first, because Kyoko's cool. Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Oh yeah, it's uh, an air purifier. Huh? What's something like that doing there? Mm. Is the device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. Uh. See if we can talk to Aoi. So, um... um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? Mm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine? Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like the end of the world is already here. Uh, yeah, it is tragically disappointing. Let's talk to ya uh, Yasuhiro. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byakuya a little while ago. <laughs> what? You Where? Where was he? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, he was um, in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> Bye. Huh? She just ran off. Is, is she okay? Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Uh, not gonna bother with Taka because Taka's useless. Afumi is so out of shot, I don't care. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> will someone join me in a game of a fellow sometime? Of course, she's a gambler, so she'd love it. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls and the rooms were blocked off. <sighs> I wish they'd give this a rest already. For serious, give me back the bright blue skies. <laughs> I just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Huh. Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape by the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Uh, Hina? Oh, we've already talked to Hina, sorry. Aww. Yeah, 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 sorry. I, I know I've talked to you. Uh, I guess... Taka? Hmm. Okay, no use. I have to talk to Afumi, don't I? Oh my god. Hi, Afumi. Mm -hmm. An art room. <laughs> yeah, here. Anime. Oh, I found a camera. Perhaps. A digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it does it still work? Yeah. You know. Well then, let's see it. What the, what the heck? heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't even have a timer or anything. Well. On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. No Rude! Nothing. She's not strange. One second, just... She's a, a, a recogni- an anime character. Anime, 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 anime. Oh, that's his camera. What? Damnation. It was in the physics lab. A prized possession. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Oh, what? it got all messed up. It doesn't really look that- Oh, I see the scratches. Aww. Oh. What? That's it? Mm. Wow! It okay, you're one of those guys. I have even less respect for you, Afumi. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> mm. 
Fumi just pisses me off so much. Oh my god. That's my turn. Uh, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. Huh? A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was... A picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were... laughing. Oh. Um... It showed the three of them together laughing? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing about them knowing each other before coming to the school. Well... Mm-hmm. I saw it, I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here, or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and took them that picture. Is that right? That's impossible, after all. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. There's no way they're alive. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's Sayaka as well. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Is that all there is to it? Uh, Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. Yeah. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay, uh... Now that's Sakura. Hmm. What is she bothered by? Let's find out. Hmm, hmm what is it? <laughs> there is also something that has been bothering me. Okay. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about Hina. Huh? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? She's a gambler. <sighs> she knows how to lie. Yeah. It is called a tell, something you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. Huh? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Ah, uh, her. <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why would you lie about that? That's it. Just a second. No, that's not it at all. Fuck you, Hafumi. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? So we're going to talk about the ghost she saw last night? Yep. Yeah. I did it because even if I came and told you, you wouldn't believe me. We'll believe you, Hina. The truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Hmm? A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. Because me and you are best buddies, Hina. Bays forever. So can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, so what happened last night? I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Hmm? Donuts again. Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. Hina. Please continue. But... I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? Oh, oh no. God. Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well, then, then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. 
Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. You're gonna what? try and see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Oh. I guess that's a yes. To the bathhouse. Ooh, nice room. It was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, chum. Oh, uh, whatever. Hina. Where was it that you saw Jihiro's ghost? Well... I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Jihiro. So, look at the locker. Oh yeah, there's an open one. Is this the locker? There was something in here. A laptop. Inside the locker is a laptop. What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. Oh, damn. They actually took that. So... Oh, of course. Jihiro probably modified it. Of course he would. It's Jihiro. Hmm. It would seem... It's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Jihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost? Uh, <laughs> I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Uh, oh. Hmm. I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. Yeah, anyone could. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's it doing here? In other words, Maybe someone hid it here. But if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. Yeah, there's a lack of camera. Yes, Precisely. There's no camera in here. Which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. Mm-hmm, hmm. yep. It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. And I'm gonna do that in one second. I'm just gonna have a quick moment so I can take a drink of my water. That's some good water, guys. Yep, pro seats of listening to me drink water. With a laptop. It's just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on. The laptop definitely has power. So, then. so first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard, and the display instantly began to glow a pale green. There was a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the Alter Ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark, and then a voice spoke to us. You're Oh. Hi, Chihiro. Oh, he made an, he made an AI. <laughs> it's a ghost. Buddha and sweet baby Jesus, save me. Oh, oh, Buddha. Oh, Buddha and Jesus. Oh. Anyone uh, from my Dead by Daylight group? Uh, that's hilarious. Um, Calm down. It's not a ghost. What? Huh? Um, then what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. Aren't you Hiro Fujisaki? Yay! <laughs> I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew Alter it. Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer by repeating different tasks. It gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. 
Apparently, Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Uh, yeah, big words. It's true. It's a learning method for computers. Thank you. Um, that's it. I'm sure of it. Uh, uh, Google is now going to sue you because, uh, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, sponsored by Google. In other words... But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is why it is called Rodrigo. A fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what your hero created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay anyway, with so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, no, Hifumi, do not go there. Do not go there. Uh. Da, 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 da. Uh. Huh? I feel as if... Uh. I mean... Anyway... Kyoko, to I just wanted to skip. That was uncomfortable. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's well. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. Um. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means that they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps, the secret of this school. <laughs> While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. It's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's Don't worry. I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam. So if anyone suspicious shows up, <laughs> I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Why? Are you okay have you forgotten? This? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However, but there's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then. Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But... It's there's true. a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable f strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I felt like there was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um... I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do, but she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's, it's a he! Um... I can't, I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It is the point of the AI is so that it has feelings. Uh, Celeste, you're being a bit go? annoying. 
Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. Aww. How cute. Could it be? Alter Ego is just the cutest. Aww. You know? Aww. We could call for help from the outside. I don't think that's possible because we might not have internet. Yeah. Well? Find someone that does have online. Yeah, but would the school have online access? <laughs> like, it might be on a floor that we haven't seen yet, but it's not on any of the floors uh, that we've seen. Um... Indeed. This is not the time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Mm. But this feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <sighs> um, no. Uh. Come on, Hifumi, let's go. I suppose... Why are you not dead yet? And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if uh, he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> dun da da dun! Hina has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? A Monokuma. You guys seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? Uh, no, nothing in particular. Oh, keeping secrets? No fair, I demand an exclusive interview. Oh. What the heck? Say what? Do it? You mean, uh, no, no, oh, it's it's an uncomfortable. What do you mean, do it, do it? This, Gross, you yes. said do it. Just what, you said it first? <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? But unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. He know won the match for us, and that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Hmm. Okay, boys, why don't you head back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice, long bath. Hey, Jeez, come on. what are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Yep, yeah, that, that was a brilliant ruse. Good job. Well done, Celeste. Oh. Damnation! Aww. Uh, um... Wait, his very first bath is worse than Toko. Oh. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall? Hey! Hold on! Hey! Something hey. strange here. Very strange! What do you mean? <gasps> What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek! Excuse me? Oh no. <sighs> I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> all of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse or go to the dining hall? I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just go back to the dining hall. <laughs> but what about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams of adventure or whatever. This is I see. Pretty I'm pretty sure there's a way that you can actually spy on them. I can't remember. I, I feel like there is there is like a way you can do it. I think we like leave the hall now and we can go. <laughs> Aww. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is awkward kind of words. No uh, you'll be dead meat for sure. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices. The girls are finished. What was the... Okay, I'm going to be back in a second, guys. I actually want to know what the conditions were to get that choice. Okay, so the way you get that scene is... Uh, like, a, you have to have a certain gift, I think. Uh, called the Spirit of Adventure. Uh, okay. You got it! Oh, what a nice bath. This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... Yeah. Sorry, no time for that. So in That's the what I figured. Huh? huh? Actually, we were just saying in the bath how it's about time for you to get up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. You're all so terrible to me. My Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for all of you. 
presence, excuse me. Well, now, well, now, Have well, I got now, your attention? Well, Let's head to the gym where your presence await. See ya. No well. questions, no dilly dallying. Get a move on or everything will become clear. Oh. Um, I'm terrified. Seems... Uh, same, same thing, providing us with a motive. Oh huh? boy. I don't think anyone wants to do it. That's the thing. It's a sad Clever. thing. But we've got Clever. alter ego, so we've got like a, a little bit of a plus to us. Oh, we're in the gym. And these two are already waiting there. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym, but when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to the firearms, you'd all be dead. Byakuya, did you get here early? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're so late? <laughs> it's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> the same as always, I see. Heard on the other hand. Back to Toko. What the heck? He's back to her Debbie Downer self, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, a sneeze. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the l lottery and get hit by a bus. <sighs> so, when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well, anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... Here comes Monokuma! I wonder what the motive is going to be this time. Let's find out. Hi, Monokuma. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Fabulous. You... You guys. It looks like everyone's here, so then let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However, Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on! Hoo hoo hoo. You don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a little fire under someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you this. All of the money. All the money in the world. Ten. Uh, uh, Monokuma, we live in Japan. I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow -y. wow wow am I right? I don't think money is really a good motive, though. Because you wouldn't really get drawn in by a motive like that. Hm. It's not nearly enough. Because Togami's rich. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Mm. But what you say? there's no way we kill each other for money. I mean, let's be real, we're all ultimates, so we're gonna have bright futures anyway. Of course. She's right. You simply can't purchase a person's life. Uh, um... You can say ten million or however much, I don't give a crap. For serious. Even though you did spend one million yen on a crystal ball. They're alright. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Stop trying to act tough. I can't wait! I can't wait! Uh... Um... Nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. <laughs> there might be s someone here who's having m money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's true. You know nothing. Okay. <laughs> hey. Just stop pressing others about their personal finances. It's ugly. <laughs> ugly? Oh god, she's gonna think. Oh, oh, you called me ugly. <laughs> Don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. Oh, I think it's night time now. And I have a feeling we'll have free time in a bit, so... <clears throat> this is yeah, a yeah. Okay. Hmm. It's that time already, huh? 
Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because... Or the Predator might suddenly find itself the prey. Oh yeah, Byakuya and Toko don't know about it. You know? Okay, okay. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms, okay? How about that? But don't think about that whole money thing. Got it? Good, then let's break. Hmm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? He really is trying. I never noticed this about Hero, and I, he is trying. Hmm. And that's kind of cool. As soon as I'm back in my room, I crawled into my bed. Money? There's no way anyone's gonna get to gonna kill anyone else for money. Eh, someone could. Mm-hmm. And a murder will happen. It's only chapter three of six. Some people are gonna die in the next few chapters, obviously. I mean, we can't just have two class trials when we haven't even got all of the elements added into the class trial yet. Uh, as long as we have hope, then I'm sure things will go fine. Oh god, Monokuma Theater. Uh, bleh, uh, no, skip it. Skip it. It's literally useless. There is no point about... Th there's no reason for this. This just annoys me. And I bet it translates to something really cool in Japanese, but in English, just no. And it's morning. Hopefully we have free time. I guess I should head to the dining hall. Okay, let's head to the dining hall. We'll go there and then we'll end the episode off after that. Alright, got uh, Aoi, Asahina, uh, a tub of lard. Dining hall! Did anyone try and steal uh, our friend? Yes or no? Could it be? So the people here today are the same as yesterday, just as seven. Mm. Byakuya and Toko are a lost cause, but... Wow. Yeah, Taka's uh, decided to stop coming for good too. He has given up, or he's dead. <laughs> For people around as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Mm. On another topic. Kyoko, did everything go all right last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either. But Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but <sighs> it's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a new role. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Hafumi. Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah. Ha. Oh. Um. Uh huh. 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 what? Ha. What? What? A pissed off drill sergeant. Yeah. Naturally, Hafumi did something. Yeah. We ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our rooms. And it's free time, but that's going to happen in the next episode, guys. So, while I have some free time, uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Dagger Rumpa. Trigger Happy Havoc. In the next episode, I'm probably chatting with some Celeste, maybe a bit of Kyoko. And I'll see you guys then. And hopefully, we'll get to the next step. Just saying. <laughs>